The rainy season is definitely here, and unfortunately for residents, that means a lot more of the common code is going around. When people uh, tend to aggregate in one area, it's easy for them to spread the infection. Dr. Edgar McAllis with the American Medical Center says the change in temperature is only part of how people get sick, adding that a few ways to prevent getting a cold are by avoiding crowded areas, always cover your nose and mouth if people around you are coughing, or if you're sick to prevent further exposure. Always wash your mouth and hands, and most importantly, see your doctor and uh, get vaccinated for flu if you ever had one. Though the cold isn't as critical, both it and the flu are respiratory illnesses, which are caused by different types of viruses. While flu symptoms usually come on quickly and consist of a fever, body aches, dry cough, and extreme tiredness, cold symptoms are less severe and people experience a stuffy nose, productive cough, slight tiredness, and limited body aches. Either way, McAllis stresses when it comes to your children and the cold, it's best to just keep them home from school and away from others in the house. If the parents see that one children is sick, they should not be allowed to touch them or kiss them or um, and always uh, same thing like precautions from other adults, always uh, get away from the secretions and uh, not to allow them to play with other kids for the, who are sick for the meantime. While some over-the-counter prescriptions are available to suppress the symptoms of a cold, McAllis says the people who most likely have a harder time recovering are smokers. They are pretty much predisposed to get respiratory infection and when they do get one, they tend to be sicker. Though he has this quick tip to get better to help those who need their daily dose of nicotine. Stop smoking. Nick Delgado, Pacific News Center.